Below is a Venya calipers. What is the reading shown? Welcome to the studio. I'm PV Setut. Let's answer this question. So I've given us a Venya caliper. So how do we find the reading on these uh, two scales? So we have the main scale and the Venya scale, right? And uh, so which one is the main and which one is the Venya? So the, this scale that we are seeing here on top, that's a main scale. And this one here that we're seeing down here, the all the down scale, that's a venya scale. So what is the reading? The first thing that you need to do is that you need to find the ven the main scale reading first. So let's get the main scale reading. So main scale, let's get the main scale reading. So what's the main scale reading here? So the main scale reading is is got or is taken um, a line before the start of the venya scale. So a line before the start of the venya scale is this one. So the the line just after the start of the of the what of the venya scale. Oh. That is in terms of the linear scale, but in terms of the linear scale, you take a line before the start of the linear scale. So this line is before is before the start. So the linear scale starts from zero here, and the line before this line is this line that we're talking about. Now the question that you all want me to do is just find the value of this line. So how do you know the value? The first thing that you need to know the value of each small line that is it placed in between the bigger line. How do you do that? Once you, you get two numbers, and two, and two close numbers like this, you subtract them. It will be 4 minus 3, which will give us what? 1. Then you ask yourself, how many small lines are in between these two numbers? They are 4. So you divide by 4. Okay. And... So this should be able to let me just get it Okay, not for sorry. You say you just for this one, one, two, three, four, five, up the last one. So that would be five, which will give us 0 0.1. 0 0.2. Alright. Um this just tells you that each small line represents 0 0.2. Okay. Each small line represents what? 0 0.2. It means 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, then 4. You are getting the concept, right? So the 5 came from there. How many lines are in between this? So 1, 2, th you start from this one. You end on the last one there. This one, that's why you end. Now that we've done that, is, so this is represented by the, this a small line represents 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So the question is, what is for you? This is 3, 3.2, 3.4, Sorry, 3.2, 3.4, 3 3.6, 3.28. So this is 3.8. Let me just say centimeters and put millimeters here. 3.8 centimeters. Next, we go to the Venya scale. So it's this simple, by the way. On the Venya scale, you're going to... How do you get the value on the Venya scale? You need to look... If this is a scale, you're on top, you're going to look for a line, which is in the same line as the line below the scale, the upper scale. So a line on the main scale, which is in the same line as that small line or bigger line on the venous scale. And this is a part. 
So, 0, 1, 2, 3. Ah, sorry, I left something. I left a value. Let's put another value. Okay, so like this. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that is 7 millimeters. Now, the venial scale is always multiplied by the accuracy of a standard venial caliper, which is 1.01 centimeters. And we are going to get 0. 0 0.07 centimeters, which should be added to the main scale reading. So, therefore, the final reading is equal to 3.8 centimeters plus 0 0.07 centimeters. And I'm not mistaken, I'm getting 3.8. 7 centimeters as the reading on this one t this caliper that is how you get the readings from the venia caliper i hope this was helpful and easier for you